Hey guys, welcome back to Cruiser Man's Inventions. Right, we're on the motor, the 250 watt motor rebuild. So as you can see in there, there's uh, magnets all in there. So we're going to take them out. And the way that you take them out, if you did want to save them, is you try and get something that's lead. And I have this. And I think they use this for laying carpet down or something to grip onto the carpet. And uh, so anyways... I use the corner of this, and I go down, because it's nice and soft, and here's one I haven't done in here, so we just layer it down, it's pretty hard to do stuff in front of the camera actually, man, in there like that, and then just put it on something nice and solid and flat, get your hammer, give it a nice little firm tap, and there it is. There's the magnet straight out of there. They're glued in or epoxy resined in. So each one of these is north. There's no north south in each one of these. They're straight out as they are. But what I'm going to do, uh, because when I took the motor apart, this is the one that I pulled out and it's all broken. It is smashed to pieces. So I have some little ones here that came out of a washing machine. Now, some of these are north, and some of them are south. I have, I'm going to use 16 of these, and I'm going to go north, south, north, south, north, south, all the way around, and here, bringing the poles closer all the way around. So that's how you take those out, guys. So that's that one, that one. And, yeah, I'll be putting in these ones. North, south, north, south, all the way around. I'll put all the north ones in first. And then all the south ones will go in between. In, be in between those ones. And I'll glue them all in. Right, let's have a look at the brushes. The brushes are good. There's still lots of life on them. And uh, I have a slideshow coming up, guys. I actually made this puller. And what it is, is a bearing puller. You undo this. And say you were trying to get a bearing out of here. Undo that, that goes through, you do up the nut on the other end, and then you just wind it all together, wind it down, and then wind this out, and then the bearing just pops out. So we got the bearing out, and it runs a bigger one on the front, and a smaller one on the back, and the smaller one on the back is this one, and the one that takes the sprocket is the bigger one. So yeah, that's... The two sizes, they don't look far different from each other. Yep. So that's those guys. So to get that back in, just use a, blo a block. I can use my puller to actually put it back in, but you can just get a block of wood as long as it's flat. You could tap it in nice and straight without breaking anything. And uh, so let's have a look at this. So this here needs a bit of cleaning up. As you can see, there's some scarring marks all the way around. Uh, I did start cleaning it up about here so, and uh, and then use some nice fine sandpaper to clean up the commentator commutator and I still got to go around here and clean that up so yeah guys so that's how far I am with it but I have a slideshow coming up as well explaining well, a bit more on that uh, and some pictures and stuff but I'm going to get to and um, mix up some epoxy resin and put all of these magnets in. I've still got to find all the rest of the magnets. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, pretty interesting, pretty interesting. I have some, you can buy these little packets of epoxy resin, which are these. And I think it could be just enough, actually. I have a, an alternator center which I reconverted and put uh, ring magnets in the center. And that's it there. This is the center of an alternator and I was going to put all of these washing machine ones on the side all nicely configured around but I'm going to pull them off for this other motor. So grab those. Awesome. So yep. 
I know these videos are only short, guys, but this gives you a little insight as to what Cruiser Man's up to and uh, what may be possible in the way of rebuilding brushless, uh, brushed motors and giving them a brushless magnet configuration. We'll soon see if it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But if it does, it'll be really cool. It'll be, I've heard it's faster. So I have already up here on the leaderboard the mongoose, the, the green mongoose scooter brushed one that I'm doing up. 450 watt motor on uh, 48 volts on the 1000 watt controller. It done 43 kilometers. So yeah, that's what that one done. And so that's the, the, the speed to beat. <laughs> that's the speed to beat. So let's hope these do it, guys. So cool, cool. I shall see you in an update coming up soon, guys. <laughs> this is going to take me a while. Awesome, guys. Cruiser Man out. Thanks for watching, guys. Cool, cool. Big hi to my boys. Hi, boys. <laughs> see you, guys.